Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie, and this video is gonna be a makeup tutorial. Basically, my everyday school look or like natural glam. My wall has changed from my last video. My dad painted it gray, so it matches the rest of my walls. So now my room is complete. Like this video if you want a room tour. Also, if you guys want to check out our latest vlog, I'll have that linked below. It's from the beach, and yeah. So if you guys want to see this makeup look, then just keep watching. Also, I look a lot different in the next clip, so sorry about it. Okay, so the very first thing that I do is plump my lips with a lip plumping gloss. So I have the Too Faced Lip Injections Extreme um, Limp. limp li <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I do is plump my lips using the Too Faced Lip Injections lip lip plumping gloss I don't even know if it really works but I like to pretend that it does so yeah so then I'm gonna do brows and the first thing I do is use the Anastasia dip brow in the shade medium brown and then just to use an angled brush looks like this any angled brush will work and I just take just a tiny bit a lot um, this stuff goes a long way and then I'm not really that good at doing my eyebrows, but this is just what I do. I kind of start halfway and then like make a line, kind of like shape my brows first. And I'll do the same thing on the top, just going in, making a line. And then I just go to the front. And then I will take Anastasia Brow Wids in soft brown. So then I'll just comb through. And then I take the pencil and I just kind of go to the front. But I feel like going over it with a pencil um, just kind of really just sets the pomade. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other brow off camera and I'll be right back. Also, I'm addicted to pink drinks. Okay, I'm back and I have my brows on. Here they are. This one's looking better. So now I'm gonna shape my brows with concealer. Oh, the concealer I'm using is the Makeup Revolution one in the shade C4. I just got that everywhere, so I love that for me. Anyways, I'm just taking it on like a flat eyeshadow brush and going right up under my brow. I just really like doing this because I feel like it makes my brows look better. Should I do eyeshadow first or foundation? So I'm going to do eyeshadow and I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place Warriors palette um, is what it looks like. It's like $20 and you can get it at Ulta or on Juvia's Place's website, but I think they have this one in store at Ulta. I feel like I'm really, really boring. I feel like I'm a boring person. So first I'm going to take the shade right there. I'm just going to go all over my lid. This will set the concealer that I put under my brow. Now I'm just gonna use a little blending brush. It's not little, it's kind of medium sized blending brush for the eye. And I'm gonna go into this shade right there, which is just like a medium brown shade. I'm just gonna go right into my crease and on the outer edge. Same thing on the other side. Just blend it out. Honestly, the longest part, the longest, the thing that takes the longest is blending. And you have to like blend so that both sides look the same and all that. Okay, so then I'm gonna take a little flat brush like this. Really thin and flat. I'm gonna take this shade right here, the dark 
the really dark brown. It's not black, it's brown, by the way. But I'm not taking a lot of that, and I'm just gonna go right on the outer corner. Okay, so now for all over the lid, I'm gonna take the Milani Hypnotic Lights um, liquid eyeshadow, and this one is in the shade Luster Light. Yeah, I just take it on my finger and then just like put it on my lid. Because of the lighting, it looks like it's all right there, but it's not. <laughs> And that will dry down, so you don't have to worry about it. It's not going to be wet on your eyelid all day. Okay, so for foundation, I use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Porcelain. It's a little bit too dark for me. This is my favorite foundation ever. It's $39, which is really expensive but it's the best. So the brush I'm using to do foundation is this one right here, and it's a Kroger brush. This is like Kroger brand. It has no words on it, and it's from Kroger. And if you don't have a Kroger near you, then sorry, but this is my favorite foundation brush. Guys, I think I'm running out of this. So I just do like one full pump, and then I just and just put it all over my face. And then I just blend it. Sure you drag it onto your neck so that there's no like weird coloring going on. Usually for concealer, I would use the Tarte Shape Tape, and mine ran out. And I went to Ulta, and they didn't have my shade, so I had to order online. It's supposed to come tomorrow. But my second favorite concealer is the 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 Catrice con Liquid Camouflage Concealer, and I have this in the shade Light Natural. But the only bad thing about this concealer is that they only have three shades and they're all light. So what's up with that? This concealer is $6 and it's really good if you can find a shade that matches you. Um, Catrice, you need to get on that because that's not cool. I just do like triangles underneath my eyes like this. And then I do some on my nose and on my chin and on my forehead. By the way, I'm using the Real Techniques Face and Body Sponge. So now I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and I have this in the shade Fair Light. And basically what I do is I put it into the cap, like that, and then I take my sponge and I dip it in there, and then I go underneath my eyes like this. Basically I'm baking, but like... And then, for the rest of my face, I set it with the Rimmel Stay Matte. This is like $4. And I just use um, that. I use this Eco Tools brush. Looks like this. Get that at Walmart. And I just dip it in there and then put that on the rest of my face. And the reason you want to set your face is so that when you go on your face with blush and bronzer, um... Your foundation won't move around. Now I'm gonna bronze my face using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Again, you can buy this at Walmart. 
I think it's like $12. Okay, so for what I'm, the bronzer brush that I'm using is also a Kroger brush. They just make good brushes, I don't know. <laughs> and it's just like an angled brush like this though. A lot of companies make brushes like this. And then I put it like right in there. And like up onto my forehead. So now I'm gonna just wipe away the powder underneath my eyes. Oh, the point of baking is to just help your under eyes not crease and to just brighten up your face and just set everything better right there. So the blush that I'm using is the Burt's Bees blush in the shade Toasted Cinnamon. So anyways. I just take a tiny bit, I just tap my brush in there, then tap off my brush, a little, do a little smile, and then put it like right on the apples of my cheeks, and then like push it backwards, so like. And that's all I do for blush. Before I do anything else, I like to spray my face with some setting spray. I use the Morphe Continuous, I use the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, you can buy this at Ulta like $12 I think but anyways I just do a quick spray on my face before I do highlight because after you when you do that then your highlight will freaking pop on your face oh for highlight I'm using the Anastasia glow kit um, sugar palette and I'm gonna use gumdrop and butterscotch mixed together and then just go like right there Ooh, look at that And then I also go right on my nose. Need some, a little bit more. And like bring it up a little bit and then do some on my Cupid's bow. And then of course on the other side. I go into the shimmery shade right here. Um, any light shimmery shade will work. And I'm just gonna put that in the inner corner. Okay, it's been like a year. Um, my mom got home and she was talking to me and then my dog wanted to squeak her toy for an hour. Anyways, I'm about to do mascara. Um, I'm gonna use the Essence Volume Stylist my Lash Extension Mascara. Um, you can get this at Ulta, it's like $4. I don't really get the point in buying um, expensive mascaras. You're supposed to replace your mascaras like every three months, so buying an expensive mascara seems dumb to me. Okay, so for lips, I'm gonna use the Fenty um, Stana Lip Paint, and this is in the shade Unbutton. To finish it off, I'm gonna do a little bit more of the Morphe setting spray. So I'm just gonna. <laughs> okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.